everyone and welcome to another episode of Stay Creative York County. My name is Sarah. Today I'm just going to be doing some rapid quick fire crafts with clothespins. So what I've come up with are a couple of ideas and what you're going to need to make all of these is going to be of course clothespins and I have different sizes here. I have two sizes. I have the shorter one that's wide and then your kind of standard one. I'm also going to use some hot glue gun, paint pens, colored pencils. I have these pom-poms or you could use felted uh, little craft balls. I'm going to have some paper which I'm going to cut with scissors. And yeah, that's all you really need. I'll put the list up. And these are just things that I wanted to come up with. I had a bag of clothespins of different sizes and wanted to come up with some ways to use them. Now I may in a future video actually use them as little clips on a board where I can store some stuff, um, but that will be in a future video. So for now, this is what we're gonna get to creating. And we have your list of stuff here. Um, and maybe you'll come up with some other stuff. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first thing that I came up with was to use my colored pencils and to write the name of an herb. I thought that clothespins would be a great way to identify plants that you're growing. So I wrote rosemary on this. Now I just left it at that at the beginning, but we'll see it later. My next idea is how to organize my paper. I have different kinds of paper in different colors, so I thought maybe I could use these to identify what kind of paper I have if I store it in something vertical. So these are cool colors. And this other set of paper is sticker paper. So then I can put them in vertical storage and see what I have where. But even if I use these for one purpose, I could paint them and use them for something different. So I got some paint pens out and decided just to decorate. Nothing too fancy, just some simple patterns. These could be used as clips. These could be used also as magnets. You would have to buy the magnet separately or you could recycle one that you have. So now that we have those decorated and done, moving on to the next craft. Now I have embroidery thread of all different kinds and amounts. So I decided to use this hack that I learned about online where you put one end of your embroidery thread near the bottom of the clip, wrap your embroidery thread around, and then once you reach the end, you take the last bit of thread and put it through the clip at the top. And there you have a way to store your embroidery thread. So I took my rosemary pen and just put some blue or some green stripes on it. Now I have this cup that I use for watercolor and it is for warm colors and I thought that if you wanted to use several different jars for warm and cold you could use a clothespin to identify which will have the warm and which will have the cool instead of writing on the jar like I did. So I wrote warm on this clothespin and this gives anyone who wants to keep their warm and cool paint water separate a way to identify without having to write it on the jar. And so I have these little pom-poms and I decided that what I wanted to do was just use them to decorate the clothespin by using some hot glue. You could also put some googly eyes on and make it a little caterpillar. I've also seen a hack where people have put one drop of essential oil and clipped it onto the fan in their car 
Just be mindful of you and your passengers and if that essential oil is good for them. So the next hack is for my little puppet friend that you saw at the beginning of the video. I just took a circle of paper, cut it in half, then decorated the top and bottom half. You can make it a profile or you can make it the front of a person or animal or character's face. I went with the profile. So I took some hot glue, put one half on top and the other half on the bottom, and then I had my little clothespin puppet. Who apparently really loves pom-poms. Nom nom. So the last thing I decided to try was actually just picking up a pom-pom with the clothespin and using that as a paintbrush or a way to do mark making. I got some acrylic paints, I picked up the pom-pom with my clothespin, put it into the paint, and then just tried out making different marks. First I stamped and then I did a stroke, a little wiggly line there, and it created some unique looks and feels and textures. So those are all of the clothespin crafts that I came up with, with what I had on hand and the clothespins that I had as well. Oh. Mm. Okay, you can try. Okay, my little friend says that he can get my head into his mouth, my whole head. So we're gonna watch, okay? Oh, no, oh. He's using some camera trickery there, isn't he? <laughs> anyway, I think he's my most amusing little creature that I made today. Bye bye. <laughs> but I also had fun just decorating and trying to come up with ways to use these other clothespins. One thing I think I would recommend is if you have a larger piece of wood, um, you could put these on there as little clips. So maybe at your front door, if you want to have little clips to store things to make sure you remember them, you could use those. You could also use them for identifying crafts. If you have like a little chore chart, you could write out the chores and then put the person's name next to it. Or write the chores on here and put it next to their name. There's a lot of different uses for clothespins beyond what they're meant for. So I hope you had fun with today's video. I hope you found an idea in it useful for you or inspiring for another idea. And if you have any ideas you'd like to share, please do so down in the comments below. And until next time, friends, remember to stay comfortable because <laughs> we've had cold and warm temperatures. Um, stay safe and as always, stay creative, York County.